Saul Marquez here with the Outcomes Rocket. Today I have the pleasure of being with Tom Winchell, the CEO of RevMedica uh, at the MedTech Innovator Challenge. Uh, he's about to pitch, but I'm glad I, I caught him here beforehand. Tom, why don't you give us a brief introduction about yourself and a little bit about what your company is doing, why it's different, and why it matters. Absolutely. Thanks, Saul. Uh, so CEO, co-founder of RevMedica, as we just talked about, I've got Quite a bit of experience in the med device space going back to my days with U.S. Surgical. Um, what we've identified, and really the FDA has reported in the last five years or so, there's been an alarming number of deaths associated with surgical staplers. Um, and, and upwards of 110,000 complications with these devices during that time frame. Um, the solution we feel is to develop a device that improves the safety profile of these surgical staplers uh, while also reducing the cost to, to really improve patient outcomes and recapture some of those lost efficiencies back to the hospital. Well, you know, it's great to be able to, to find a niche like that where you could deliver such value. Uh, what is it that inspires you in, in your work? Yeah, no, that's a great question. You know, when I, uh, when I graduated college with a mechanical engineering degree, my father owned a supermarket and said, you know, you can, people are always going to be hungry and they're always going to get sick. And I went to work at U.S. Surgical and didn't really appreciate the magnitude of the devices we were working on until years later, or not that much later, I was in my first surgical procedure and I saw a patient on the table, an elderly patient, and that's when it really hit home for me and I realized you know, just how important what we do and the engineering and the design and making sure we get it right was. And through my 22 years with Medtronic, you know, I really got a better appreciation for that and, and took that to heart. So when we left to form RevMedica, we wanted to really focus on improving those patient outcomes, making safer devices, and also doing something for the environment as well, which we know is definitely a big change in the marketplace that's coming. Love it. Uh, what would you say is, is one of the key differentiators in the safety profile of, of the device? Sure, there's a, there's a lot to pack into that, but really at the end of the day, um, it's tissue sensing technology, right? A lot of those issues I talked about from the FDA are surgeons not really understanding the tissue thickness they're about to fire their stapler in um, or if they have an obstruction inside the device. So it's one, our tissue sensing technology. Two, it's our removable powertrain, which basically gives them a robotic interface in their hands in the OR. And then three, it's really that reduction in that waste profile and a lot of other efficiencies that the hospital gets to gain back as well from a lower waste profile device. Love it. And, and, and you know, we're in the age of robots. Robotic surgery is a real thing. Are you guys, uh, is, your, is your map uh, identified integration with robotic technologies? Yeah, that's another great question, Saul. We actually started with a robot ac application. We did, and, and we realized, you know, for our first project, our first product, probably not the easiest place to start. So we started with something that, we've, that we know and we know very well, which is laparoscopic stapling. Um, that said, we certainly have IP that feeds directly into the robotic applications, and we hope to expand our portfolio into that space in the future. The thoughts are there, thinking ahead, but taking the, the initial steps to, to get it to where it needs to be. Exactly. Staying focused on the laparoscopic stapler for right now. And then we've got some other, other devices that incorporate the same removable power, powertrain technology to extend this into a pipeline of products as well for laparoscopy. Huh. Fascinating. Fascinating. And so uh, as, as we sit here, you know, there's, there's viewers watching us at home. There's listeners on the road. What, what call to action would you give them back at home or at work uh, as, they, as they consider a technology like yours, whether it be a partnership, an investment, or just a call to action for surgeons? What, what would that be, and what's the best place for them to reach, reach out to you? Yeah, no, it's great. I mean, bottom line, just do it. You know, just do it. There, there's, there's so many unmet needs out there. Um, you know, if you think it's a good idea, it probably is. Go after it. Try it. Don't be afraid to fail. Um, that's part of the game. I think about where we started and all the pivots that we've taken in the last two and a half years. And if we didn't persevere and stay through it, we wouldn't be here today and we're in a much better spot. So definitely just get out there, do it. Don't be afraid to fail. And, uh, you know, the future is looking great. I mean, right now the economy is great. Med device investment is up. I'm feeling really positive about our future. I'm feeling really confident and positive about taking RevMedica out of stealth mode and being at a place like this with a Medtronic employee and other strategic companies and letting them know what we're doing. Um, and, and please feel free to reach out to me. Best place is go to our website, www.revmedica.com or tom at revmedica.com. And uh, love, to, love to talk to people and share more about what we're doing. Love it, Tom. Thanks again for your time.